The AdWords reports give you post-click performance metrics for your traffic from AdWords, so you can see what happened after visitors clicked on your AdWords ads. You can review site usage metrics, goal conversions, e-commerce activity, and revenue metrics like ROI and revenue per click. Let's look at some of the metrics. Visits is the number of visits your site received from AdWords keyword campaigns. Impressions is the number of times your ads were displayed. Clicks shows the number of clicks for which you paid and which your ads received. If there are fewer visits than clicks, some visitors may have clicked away from the website or stopped the landing page from loading before the tracking code was executed. Or, some landing pages may be missing the Google Analytics tracking code. Also, visitors must have JavaScript, images, and cookies enabled in their browsers in order to be tracked. Often, you'll have fewer clicks than visits. The reason is that some visitors clicked on the ad and then later, during a different session, returned directly to the site through a bookmark. The referral information from the original visit was retained, so some clicks resulted in multiple visits. Impressions, clicks, cost, and CTR, or click-through rate, all relate to how many times your ads were displayed and how frequently people clicked on them. These metrics can help you understand how visible and compelling your ads are to searchers on these keywords. For example, if you want a higher click-through rate, you might consider bidding for a higher position or rewriting your ad so that it's more relevant to the searcher. If you are getting all zeros in the cost column, make sure you've linked to your AdWords account and that you've enabled auto-tagging. Revenue per click, return on investment, and margin can help you assess keyword profitability. For example, ROI is useful because it provides a single metric comparison of how much you spent versus how much you made. An ROI of 0% means that you earned in revenue the same amount of money that you spent. An ROI of 100% means that you spent X and received 2X in revenue. If your RPC numbers are all zero and your ROI numbers are all minus 100%, it's because you have zero revenue. So make sure that you've set goal values or that you've enabled e-commerce tracking. Before you delete or pause negative ROI keywords, consider whether you have enough data yet to make a decision. In particular, watch out for short date ranges. It's generally not a good idea to make keyword changes on the basis of a few days worth of data. Consider return customers, those that find the site via an AdWords ad and then return later to buy again. You'll miss repeat conversions if you set too short of a date range. Also, it may take days or longer for many visitors to become customers. So set a date range that is at least as long as your expected sales cycle. Next, let's look at the reports. The AdWords Campaigns Report organizes your data according to campaign, ad group, and keyword. Click a campaign and you drill down to the ad groups. Click one of the ad groups and you drill down to the keywords in the ad group. The same metrics are available at every level of the report. But you can also organize your data according to a variety of AdWords dimensions. Just select the AdWords dimension you want from the drop-down menu. This is powerful because you can drill down to a subset of your data and then break it out according to any AdWords dimension. In this case, we've already drilled down to an ad group within a campaign. Now, by selecting match type, we can see how different match types perform for this ad group. One thing to be aware of, if you manually tag the destination URLs for your keywords, you'll only be able to see your data by campaign and keyword. But as long as you've enabled auto-tagging, you can see your data by any of the AdWords dimensions. Let's look at another report. To find out which times of day your campaigns are most effective, navigate to the Day Parts report. Now, graph visits against transactions. And view the data hourly. Here, transactions increase relative to visits at 12 noon, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., 8 p.m., and 11 p.m. So we might want to increase our bids at those times. You can also use the table to drill down into a specific hour, and then a specific day for that hour, and then look at which keywords drove transactions for that hour and day. Here we can see that the keyword Google Store drove all the revenue for 12 noon on Thursdays. The Destination URLs report shows each destination URL on your site that received AdWords traffic. Click one of the destination URLs 
Then select Add Content from the AdWords Dimensions drop-down. Now you can see which ad headlines performed best for this particular destination URL. The Overview Report provides shortcut links to commonly needed analyses. For example, you can find out the actual search queries that drove visits to your site. To find out which placements work best for you, you can click the link on the overview or navigate to the placements report. And you can drill down into your placements to find the specific URLs that work best. You can use the keywords positions report to find out how ad position affected your keywords performance. Select a keyword on the left and then select a metric like average time on site. The side one position for this keyword referred visitors who spent an average of almost five minutes on the site. The side two position referred visitors who spent an average of two and a half minutes on the site. Finally, you can upload your TV ad, a video file, to your AdWords account and start a campaign on nationwide TV. You specify the time of day and week, audience demographic, and type of program you'd like to target. Then, you can track it using the TV campaigns report. You can drill down into specific TV campaigns and see the impressions delivered, number of ad airings, cost, and CPM alongside your metrics like visits, time on site, and conversions. For example, this screenshot shows website visits plotted against impressions delivered, the number of active TVs tuned to your commercial. Looking at your web traffic metrics alongside your TV campaign metrics can help you optimize your TV campaigns.